All right, quadcopter 101 here. Uh, if you look up in the sky, you see a big oval up there. I think they're doing a test flight of uh, the new Spaceship 3 down in Mojave Airport. Uh, I guess they lost Spaceship 2 here, nearby here, about 20 miles from here, uh, a couple months back. But it looks like they're getting ready to do another test. But I'm also getting ready to do a test out here in the desert. Uh, this is my JJR HHC. Uh, last week, I was flying my HHC up in Short Canyon, uh, looking at uh, wildflowers up there, California poppies. But I was using a slow memory card with the quadcopter, with the camera. Um, and because of that, I was getting a lot of drop frames. Uh, what I got today is I put a Class 6 card in there, a faster memory card. And I'm hoping that's able to keep up with the uh, speed of the camera. And that's what today's test flight is going to do, is to test the speed of the Class 6 card in this camera. So let's see if that works. I'm going to send it up. I'm going to do a long-range flight. I got my um, WL Toys modified transmitter here with me today. Uh, that works great with this quadcopter, by the way. I recommend this transmitter, and I recommend doing the Sebi Docky modification. If you don't know what that is, I'll include a link below in the info section of this video. So let's send it up and see how this camera performs with a Class 6 card. Okay, the quadcopter's bound. The camera's recording. I'm in 40% rate. Uh, we got a slight wind coming from the mountains. Let's go up and go for a flight. Again, I'm going to be doing long range flying, or try to do long range flying with this uh, reflector here and the antenna. Okay, I'm out past 100 meters now. I'm turn it slowly and bind. And going into hover. Again, there's a wind up there pushing it by. That's, that's the wind pushing it right now. I'm, still, I'm just still hovering right now. <laughs> okay, I better fight that wind. Going upwind now. Okay, I'm coming down. I'm too high. I don't want to be way up there. Got to keep it below 400 feet, right folks? And now I'm going to be doing uh, low-level flying. Hello, hello. Yeah, this modification at Sebi Docky did a real nice documentation how to do it with this transmitter. It works great. Uh, for about six dollars in parts that you can get off of Banggood. Um, anybody that can work a soldering iron can do this. little bit of climbing. Now again I'm using a class 6 card. Um, the way you find out the speed of your card you look on it. Look for a little C on your card and look for a number of 6 or higher. Uh, you might see, Most of them are class 4's if you see C4. If you see no C at all uh, <laughs> that's less than 2 megabytes per second and that's what comes with this quadcopter. It's just too slow for this camera. It's a very good camera but again, it uses Motion JPEG, which is an older compression format, uh, which requires, it actually makes a very large data file. And to keep up with that data stream from that card, you need a fast card. Data stream from <laughs> that compression scheme, I meant. Okay, that should be enough test. I'm gonna try to do a real low level flight through these bushes, hold on. Coming down a little lower. It's going to require a little bit of tricky flying. I don't want to smash into a bush. <laughs> okay, turn to the right. Turn to the right. Light's still good. Our lights are still good. Got a little bit of a tilt on the quadcopter there, I notice. I need to uh, calibrate the gyros out of that to get rid of that tilt. But other than that, it's flying great. I like this HHC. I don't care. I know a lot of people have problems with the motors. I said it before.
but if you fly it as a camera bird don't use too heavy of a uh, battery and give it a rest period in between flights and check your propellers before and after each flight it's a good quad it actually the motors last reasonably good time or a long time okay I'm bringing it in for a landing and welcome back always remember turn off your camera after each flight or else it won't record your data stream okay or finalize the data stream you'll just get a zero kilobyte file on there okay I see green that should have been a good flight so let's take it back uh, I'll upload it to YouTube I got uh, a couple new quadcopters coming in this weekend uh, x6 tarantula and an HJ 818 uh, hexacopter six-bladed quadcopter uh, unfortunately I also got a storm system coming in here the local area over the next few days so it might be a week before I get that up on YouTube but this will be a nice filler video in between <laughs> okay quadcopter 101 side of got